Today I'm going to show you an amazing tool that can hopefully help you in deck building. So with that being said, let's get started. For those of you who do not know, there is this website called DeckShop Pro. Basically what it does, it tells you the pros and cons of your deck. So with that being said, let me show you how it works and how you can use it on your own profile. So let's do that right now. So what you want to do is go to your internet browser and search up DeckShop Pro and you should get to this website. I will link it down in the description if you guys want to use this and if you're, it sounds interesting. And uh, we can do many things here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my player tag into this um, into this. Uh, uh, calm. So uh, if you don't know what your play tab, basically um, just click your um, banner and uh, see this little hashtag on the, underneath your name. Just copy it and um, just copy it and place it here and that will bring you to your player tag and this website will find out your profile. So I'll just click on that right now. It tells you a bunch of good stats such as your trophy progression, your chest cycle, uh, and a bunch of um, trivia about your, um, your uh, profile. But I'm going to be interested in this Dex part, so I'm just going to click that, and we're going to use this to modify and check our deck. So I'm going to be checking the deck I've been using recently. This is a top deck that a uh, a, uh, a top stream tier player has been using, and here's the uh, stats. This website can tell you a bunch of stats, such as how good your deck is uh, in certain areas, such as defense, offense, if it's good for a free to play. So if you are low leveled, you can prioritize decks that are easier to max out than something with like three legendaries like this deck. But this deck has a decent offense, good defense, uh, synergy, uh, versatility, but it has bad free to play. But um, personally, I'm not a fan of Barbarian Barrel. If you're not a fan of this, uh, your current deck and you want to modify it, you can modify with the modify button and then like change out the cards you want. So personally, I don't want Barbarian Barrel. I love Zep. And if we do that, I mean, it does, um, if we do do that, uh, it does change out your um, deck rating. As you can see here, mine is godly for three up to five tiers. Obviously, it isn't perfect, but it is a good place to start if you don't know what's wrong with your deck and you're just having a lot of trouble in your current arena. So if you want to have a little bit more help, uh, this is a good tool to use. Um, so it tells you like a bunch of stuff. If you look down, you can, can tell you um, any warnings that your deck may have. For example, this one does not have any uh, medium or high damage spells. If you have something like a no tank killers or no win conditions, it will warn you about that. And you can fix that in this website itself and then copy and paste it into Clash Royale. And if you want, you can also see decks that are similar. This does sense that this is a heavily bridge spam deck, so it does um, recommend me a bunch of bridge spam stuff, like Pekka bridge spam, Simmons Continues, um, all of that good stuff. And if you go down, you can uh, also see like the current stats of your deck. The um, stuff that you may not have thought about, but one-on-one -on -one interactions that your cards can use to counter other cards, such as uh, anti-air investment. Um, it tells you like basically what each card is in your current deck, and also tells you like what uh, spells are vulnerable. For example, my deck is Simmons Continues, so I'm trying to get a bunch of cards to be vulnerable to uh, spell bait so I can use my stream of tears safely. So as you can see, most of this deck is pretty vulnerable to spells, which is good since I can use it to bait my opponent's spells and use that to my advantage. You can also see like uh, anti-air, like basically a bunch of stuff that you, every deck should have, at least one or two cards in each slot. If you're missing something, feel free to uh, modify it. And also let's see like a bunch of other stats like um, deck cycle. Deck cycle is highly important because if you do have a low deck cycle, um, it does allow you to cycle to some cards you may want more in your deck. Like if you have 2.6 hog, it's important to have a fast cycle since it is very useful to uh, overwhelm your opponents after they exhaust their hog counters. So stuff like that is very important to think about. And uh, you also have synergies, stuff you, like, you wouldn't think about, but um, do work together in terms of the game and counters. This is a really good tool if you're struggling with making decks. I mean, obviously there is the in-game, uh, the new in-game uh, deck builder in Clash Royale, but I would highly recommend DeckShop Pro since it is more advanced, gives you more information and what may be wrong with your, your deck. So with that being said, we're going to try out this deck right now and uh, hopefully see how it works. I'm going to try it on ladder because um, if it can work in ladder, it should be good on league and I have been suffering on league. But with that being said, let's let's try it. Good luck. This um, deck is, um, as I said, was well, the number two, um, in terms of ladder, the number two deck for uh, Three Musketeers, so that's why I'm trying it out here. Except they have Barbarian Barrel instead of Zap. I'm personally a huge fan of Zap. The good thing about it is um, we do have more than one anti-air, so I don't have to depend on my... Uh oh Oh, I didn't expect that. Oh, we're gonna get some damage. But So I don't have to expect all my Three Musketeers as my only anti-air uh, um, for a single elixir, but it is what it is. This guy does have a poison. That's fine. But this deck also does have, um, as you see, Barbarians. Hopefully, I mean, Barbarians are an excellent spell because if they're left alone, 
they are amazing on defense, poor on offense. But uh, with that being said, uh, we're also using the evolved version, seeing how that works. I'm going to try to stick out for a bit, see if it's any good. And if it is, I'll make some videos off of it. But with that being said, let me just kind of defend against this guy's push. He's obviously playing Graveyard. Uh, he has Skeleton King. He has <laughs> uh, Tombstone, all that stuff. Oh, he poisoned my, my match Archer, which is good. I'm going to use my Streamage Tears in case he does use the Skeleton ability, which is good. Since his poison has been baited successfully, we're going to take a little bit of damage, but that doesn't mean we can't do a counter push. Also has Battle Ram. This deck has a lot of Barbarians in it, and we do have to evolve Barbarians in case something bad happens. Uh, I'll just zap those Skeletons, and hopefully get a little bit of chip damage. Try to even out the game here before Double Elixir hits. Normally in Streamage Tears, you don't use... Um, you don't use the Stream of Tears into Double Elixir, however, uh, this guy kind of made me, so I did have to use it. Uh, so, there we go. Double Elixir is about to hit. I would like to have one pump before I start this, uh, before I like actually start a heavy push. And since he gave me the opportunity, I do have Magic Archer to get some chip damage. That's a good thing about this deck. You can use uh, Magic Archer as chip damage, so if you need a little bit more damage, <laughs> that is a cheesy but reliable way to do it. If he does play Scraveyard, I have... Barbarians. Oh, shoot. I forgot my ghost is invisible and <laughs> baby dragon takes a lot of damage on my tower. That was a mistake on my part. That poison's not going to help him too much on his part. All right, but that tornado will steal the deal with the poison. But since he doesn't have uh, any heavy spell for my pump, I would put down my pump. He may graveyard it, but I could potentially get a king tower activation, which is what I'm going for. I'll let my pump um, get destroyed and use my, early or my evolved barbarians on this side. Oh gosh, I was trying to get a King Tower activation. That did not work very well in my favor. And that was a huge mistake on my part, but hopefully we can turn the tables. Um, Barbarian Ram may connect. I'm going to apply dual pressure, uh, dual pressure to each lane so he can't stop one specific lane. Hopefully that ghost gets enough damage to take out the game. It's not. It's good enough. We got a zap, and that is game. Anyways, um, Deckshot Pro is an excellent uh, tool if you guys are needing help making your own decks. And if you guys need extra any extra help, let me know in the comments down below. I'll do my best. If it's Streamers Kateer, that is my strong suit. But if it's not, um, try Deckshot Pro. But that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I'll see you guys all in the next video of Clash Radio. Bye-bye.